Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and today we're going to check it out how to design the super cute flower in Illustrator. First step, make sure that you're on the stroke. So this is the fill currently. I'm going to swap it to stroke. Make sure that you don't have anything on the fill. Click on the fill, click on the none. I'm going to select a light gray color for the strokes. I'm going to select the ellipse tool, press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle. I'm going to press and hold alt, drag it up, press and hold shift until they intersect right here. Press and hold alt again, drag it down, press also shift and make sure that they intersect right here select both of these circles. So I'm going to select one circle, press and hold shift, select the other one. And I'm going to go to the rotate tool, which is this one. I'm going to double click on, type in 60 degrees, click on copy and press control D. Select one of the circles, press and hold alt and drag it here up where they intersect in this point. I select the rotate tool again, press and hold alt, click in here in the intersection point right into the center. Let's go with 60 again, click on copy, press control D until it goes round and round. I'm going to press and hold alt, create another copy and I'm going to drag this right here at this intersection point. I'm going to select the rotate tool again, press and hold alt again, click on the center again. 60 degrees again, copy, control D until it goes round and round. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go and select this one, press and hold shift, also select this circle, and I'm going to go and select this one. I'm going to actually increase uh, the, the stroke thickness so you can see what is going on here, I, and I'm going to change the stroke color to black, so you, basically now you can see exactly what is going on. And now I'm going to press shift plus M, or you can select the shape builder tool here. I'm going to press and hold alt, delete these three parts and I'm going to also delete this one. Okay, I'm going to remove this top one. I'm going to press shift plus X. Now I can delete the rest. Shift plus X, increase the stroke thickness. I'm going to press shift plus W or you can go and select the, what is this, width tool. So if you go to the stroke, as you can see, it's going to create a dot, you know, and I'm going to go to this anchor point and long click. And if you pull, as you can see, it's going to make the stroke thicker or thinner. I'm going to go all the way to zero. So it's going to make it really thin like this. Okay, from here, I'm going to select the rotate tool again, press and hold alt, click on this anchor point, type in 60, click on copy, press control D until it goes round and round. I'm going to select all, right click group, I'm going to scale it down. I'm going to press Control C and then Control F or you can go to edit and paste in front. And this is going to create another copy. So press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it down. Also make sure that the stroke thickness is going to be scaled down also. So as you can see now the stroke thickness is thinner because I went here and I activated the scale stroke and effect. And I'm going to rotate this until it fits here. Okay, I'm going to select the outer one. I'm going to go to object, expand appearance, click on the Pathfinder Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, you can go to Windows and select the Pathfinder, which is located here. And from here, I'm going to select the knife, which is right here. I'm going to cut here, this area, this area. And now, as you can see, it cut up this section. I'm going to select this, go to object, expand appearance. I'm going to go and unite them. I'm going to select both of these, go to unite on the pathfinder. And as you can see, we got a lot of anchor points, unnecessary anchor points. So I'm going to go to object path and simplify. Now I'm going to go up a little 73 is perfect. Okay. This is the one. Now I'm going to select the direct selection tool here in the menu. And I'm going to select these anchor points, these two anchor points right here. And I'm going to press and hold shift, select also these and the rest from the petals. Now, as you can see, it should have these little circles. So if I drag these little circles, it's going to create, it's going to make it round and it's going to look something like this. Also, you can remove some of the petals in here. It's going to look more contrasty. So you can play around however you like. It also looks like a banana. I don't know. So yeah, this was it. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.